Good morning, guys. I don't know if it's dark in here or not, but hopefully it isn't. Looks like it's something on my lens. I don't know. I don't know if I need a new camera. I know I need a new camera, but I have to believe I scratched the lens. But anyway, I am headed to Aldi and then Dollar Tree. I think I'm going to take you guys in with me to Aldi and not Dollar Tree because I'm looking for only certain things at Dollar Tree and I'm going to be in and out. Yeah, in and out. And they may not have anything. I may waste my time. So, of course, I have my phone on in case Instacart or something pops up or Postmates. I have been doing Postmates lately. And I only do Postmates if it is a Walmart pickup. Because Walmart right now, I don't know if they're going to continue to do it. But they are paying like an extra $4 on top of the order. Which I still haven't figured out exactly how much they charge. Um, so, what I do is I go to the grocery delivery um, area the Walmart pickup and then I will see what comes out I'll tell them whose name it is and then sometimes it's a huge order usually you get paid more with a huge order like nine dollars and something um, most of the time I would say half and half the people will tip some people will not I have gotten I just go and don't expect to be tipped and usually I end up getting tipped ten dollars and I'm like that took what 20 minutes because usually it's someone that's right in the area that's not too far away kind of with Instacart sometimes it can be a little far away yeah but my limit with Instacart is no further than 10 miles so anyway I've been doing Postmates um, I don't do like the food delivery or anything even though I have like the debit card and the I have to find my insulated bag but I don't want to do like pick up food and take it to somebody right now for a subway or anything like that um, I think bagels plus in our area um, I think I had one for KFC Taco Bell my brother just do the grocery delivery even though it's a little scary when they come out and you don't know how much groceries they have but the more groceries you have the more you get paid um anyway i didn't mean to even talk about postmates but i didn't tell you guys i was doing that i applied for them long time ago after um instacart and i just applied and yeah and i never really did it until someone delivered our groceries one day and i was like oh um i said who are you working for you know blah 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 um blah 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 you know and she said oh i'm doing um postmates i'm doing walmart delivery so anyway okay so i'm going to aldi there's some things non-food things that i want to get and then i need to pick up like some lunch stuff for saya and then i also need to uh get something for dinner or something like that i'm gonna wait to like closer to the weekend or the weekend to go grocery shopping um a big grocery haul or whatever so um, yeah so i'm gonna take you guys in aldi with me i also plan on going to the gym today i don't really feel like it but i feel so much better after i go and uh what else today I have two videos one has just been sitting there and I just need to make a thumbnail and hit live and one is already up there but yeah I gotta make a thumbnail for that one and do all that stuff so there'll be two private videos go up today I'm gonna try to put this one up today I'll just see because I want you guys to see the items that are coming out that you would need maybe for the holidays as far as entertaining or cooking or something like that so yeah Hey guys so i just got out from the gym i'm not gonna go to dollar tree i think i'm just gonna go to aldi i'm tired after <laughs> um being in there i walked three miles and um yeah so i'm tired i knew i was gonna be tired anyway but then i decided anyway before i even left i 
the I switched cars because um I need to put gas in my car and I was like I don't feel like driving Jason's car so I turned around switch cars and um yeah and I said I ain't going to Dollar Tree today because it's it's not the one that's right it's the next town over so it's about 12 minutes away and I didn't feel like driving just being lazy so anyway I'm going in here gonna see if I like I rolled the windows up and I'm still hot from the workout um see what they have it's hope is not picked over I was trying to get here at 9 but um, it wasn't something that I had to have and if no if I miss out on it then I just miss out on it so let's see okay guys so this week I was looking at this road to purchase it is really pretty but I either wanted in my craft room or um, my craft room or either my entryway but they will get it so dirty it's really pretty for $49 then I have this bath rug set. And I was looking at this rack. But I don't know y'all. I would think I'd rather have it in wood, but you cannot beat that price. Okay guys, it looks like they came and got these Dutch ovens and the brazier pan. Um, I had a video on them last year. They were not playing around, but they may get more in stock. That's what happened last year. But I'll make sure I link that video so you guys can see it. This cast iron grill pan too. Um, I think the frying pan, it didn't work too well for mama. You have to clean it really well but these are awesome the dutch oven and the brazier pan so they were not playing around they got it and it's about 12 o'clock now this right here i was looking at uh, for 7.99 i may get one to put some blankets in i wanted to get two to put on my sofa table but i don't know y'all let me think they still have the vacuum upright they marked it down to $40. I did a sink caddy. It's $12.99. Oh, I was looking at this portable induction cooktop. $44. And here's the stand mixer I was talking about last week. And then here's the air fryer if you don't have one. I haven't tried this one. $49. They have plenty of them. Here's a saucepan. I don't have this. I'm trying to think, was this last year? Um, I did want to get these. I wish they were in different colors. I really need this. It's $19.99. Food meal. There's the bacon dish set I was talking about last week. Okay, I think I'm going to get this, y'all. I need some more knives. Enamel cast iron care kit. Hmm. Ooh, it's $2.99. I might get that. And then these right here I was looking at. The gun metal utensils for $3.99. I didn't realize they were gun metal. I'm still pretty. Don't need a cutting board. They, ooh, they still have the silicone mats. I wonder they only have it in green. That shouldn't really matter. They have plenty, plenty, plenty of the cookie sheets. And the pastry utensils, I bet they do not have the little scoop to make cookies. I bet they don't. They got everything but that. The school silicone pans, the waffle maker. This is a different waffle maker than what I have. I like this one though. I probably need a new one. Um, what's over here, y'all? They still have the comforter. 
with the black and white checker. This is beautiful, but I don't need another throw. Uh, I think they also had some throws. Yeah, there they go. Really pretty. I like that one. But they also have, oh, it's right in front of me. You wanna, don't overly do your bed for Christmas. And then they have the black and white. And these are $9.99. Ooh, I might get this. Then they have the chairs, the pillows, the pet stuff. I think that's all the new stuff. Um, they don't have the wax warmers. They put a sign, the wax melts, I'm sorry. They put a sign as you was coming in the door. That they'll be here on the 27th of October. So let me figure out what I'm gonna get y'all. I'm not gonna get a fragrance warmer. If Josiah wasn't so small, I would get another one. But they don't have the melts today. That's what I wanted. They have these candles with the wood wicks. So for lunch, I am, well, it's a late lunch. It's like two o'clock. I am having, I'm back from Walmart and I'm tired, y'all. I am tired. So this is a ham, Black Forest ham and turkey breast. I did add bacon to it. I do know that with the whole, anyway, I didn't get whole wheat bread. I should have. I got the herbs and cheese bread, which is more points. I don't even remember how many points this is, but it's not a lot. It's like six. But then I have to calculate. Some bacons have points and some don't. But most of the, some bacons have no points, I think. I don't know, y'all. But anyway, um, I'm sure the mayonnaise has points and then this bread because I didn't get the whole wheat. So it's not six points. It's probably more, but I didn't eat breakfast this morning. And it is light mayonnaise on it. And this Subway, I didn't say, but I guess you guys can tell. Okay, guys, so I am back from Aldi, the gym, Walmart. Didn't make it to Dollar Tree. Go there another day. Um, I need to take a break anyway because I've been to Dollar Tree. I have to upload a haul for that. I'll probably do that tomorrow because it'll be quiet in the house. But now it's getting close to picking them up. So I'll, I'll pick and Josiah up from school. So I will just wait. And then I have a Dollar General haul. I'm going to go ahead and upload this haul before my other Aldi hauls. I am behind. So if you, you know, see a whole bunch of them go up at one time. That's what's going on. So make sure you turn on your notification bell to make sure you're alerted. I had a couple of people tell me, um, I think Kimberly from Kimberly Davis Diva Designer on a Dime and someone else said they got unsubscribed from my channel. So just make sure that you turn on that notification bell so that you can um, and hit subscribe, get notified of any videos that go up. Because I have, I am so behind on videos. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um, let's start over here guys today. I'm going to make chili beans. This is not a full grocery haul. I'm going to wait. I think I said earlier, I'm going to vlog this together and, um, yeah, with the other stuff. So I got some restaurant style tortilla chips. I got two bags because usually when I just get one, they go through it. It's 89 cents. I picked up the snack combo. Jason, the other day, he went to Walmart and he picked up the... I don't know what it's called but it's a green bag and it has like pretzels and popcorn in it it's more of healthier baked chips and stuff so he was trying to see if that would go that wouldn't go as fast as you know the regular chips but it went a little bit slower but not as fast but anyway I picked up the snack combo today for lunches and whatever also picked up some 2% milk. Um, I think Jason is the only one that really drinks milk. If uh, just uh, JJ eats cereal dry, JJ will eat cereal with milk. But did I say that right? Josiah will drink milk. There's too many J's. We'll drink milk with cereal, but usually that's on the weekend. I got some cabbage. This is a small head. I wish they had more, but they only have maybe six. I guess they're probably waiting on a truck. I also got some red kidney beans and some northern beans. They were 49 cents. And the tomato sauce was a quarter. I needed some yellow onions and I got some chili hot seasoning mix. Jason has to work 
So we're gonna go ahead and he didn't say anything last time. We're gonna go ahead and get the hot chili mix this time. I wanted to get some bananas. They usually eat it up before I get a chance to even get a banana. I'm not crazy about bananas. These are really ripe. Um, I may t freeze maybe two of them, but I wanted it for a green smoothie to give it some sweetness. I also picked up these green beans. I like these green beans, and they're not much. They're like $1.29, something like that. Um, I got some light sour cream, some spinach artichoke dip. I have tried the jalapeno, jalapeno artichoke, and that was good, but I wanted the spinach this time. I do like making my own, especially for the holidays, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this. I don't remember the prices, y'all. Um, with this particular haul, it will go up before the rest of them, but what I'm trying to do from here on out is... I'll put the date of the haul and I'll put it on my blog so you can see it. So give me maybe two days and I'll have um, pictures and the prices. And I don't know if this be a meal plan or not for this um, haul. But that's what I would normally do if it's like a full haul. I'll put a meal plan and what we ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I also got the 80-20 ground beef. And the prices. I don't know if I said that. I picked up three things of the Caesar salad mix. The original thin pepperoni. Mommy Cozy pizzas. I got two of these. I also got some Kobe Jack cheese. I should have got some Mexican cheese or taco style cheese. I usually get to make with the chili beans. I do have a recipe. I will try to find it and I will put it. I will link it. I will link it in the iCard. So if you want to know exactly how I make the chili beans and then as well um, the poultry seasoning and the ground sage this is 169 this is the time right now guys to pick up those items for the holidays so you won't be in there with the crowds you don't have to worry about running out at the last minute on Thanksgiving or sending somebody to the store or you're fighting to get a space to even look at the spices in Walmart, Harris Teeter, Publix, whatever your grocery store is. So I even waited a little too long and I think I knew this, but I just didn't um, because all they had today was the ground sage and the poultry seasoning. And what else did they have? Thyme, rosemary leaves and something else, y'all, they had. And this is all they had. So I was, the cashier said, did you find everything today? And I said, well, I was just hoping that hopefully they will restock these because they are seasonally. She said they do order these when they start running out. So I'm hoping that they get some more so I don't have to get it somewhere else. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Okay, guys. So um, let me go over the non-food stuff at the end. I got some celery hearts. I went to Walmart. And I don't know why I didn't get it at Aldi. This was $2.29. Just wanted it quick and easy. Clean it off and cut it up. I don't know. Just being lazy. I do have some carrots already, but I wanted to make sure I had enough for the dip. And then also, I still have some hummus that I bought in another haul that I have to upload. I just picked up two other sparkling ice. The tangerine is my favorite, but for some reason, my local closest Walmart never has them in stock. So I got the classic lemonade and the kiwi strawberry. Um, Jason right now, he is crazy about this strawberry um, clear American. It's the same thing that's in the big liter bottles. I believe it's a liter that they have. I can never finish a liter bottle. And I think I've hauled it before. They have it in, I don't know, all different types of flavors, y'all. Peach, black cherry. I want to say a black berry lemonade. Some of every apple fuji all the different ones so right now he is really crazy about them they two they are 246 and i should have got two of them i like the peach that's my favorite um but i don't like in the big leader that it, once you once you open it it's not as strong and i just want it strong so usually i end up giving it to the boys okay in the deli department um i have been picking this up lately i don't know our closest one is newly remodeled so at the deli department they don't no longer have like those pastas and potato salad and coleslaw and stuff anymore and they have like these pre-cut deli meats and cheeses so i've been picking these up um usually i'm the only one that eats them i love a good sandwich i just love it 
So um, I've been getting the Cajun turkey, and it kind of looks like that, and it's good. Um, I don't need a big one because I seem like I always, I always waste maybe one piece. It may be one piece still already in there. So I get the smallest one. That's how much it is a lot per pound. But I usually get the smallest one like two dollars. I just don't want to pay no more than three dollars. And then I wanted to try the honey ham. The other week I got the bone. Is it the ham on the bone? Yeah, I got the ham on the bone. So they have all different types. They have provolone, Kobe Jack cheese. Um, today I got, the other day I got provolone. Today I got the white American. So white American cheese. All right, y'all, back to Aldi. So the non-food items, I was looking at that rug that they had this week, but I know I needed some more knives. I need to take some of my mom. Um, Rose, you probably see this anyway, um, but um, if you, I know, I think, yeah, mama said you needed some knives. <laughs> um, so these were $12.99, y'all. So this is a really good price, and it comes with some sleeves. Is that called what they call sleeves? Mm-hmm. So I needed some of these, and does it say on the back what type of knives they are? Yeah, a chef knife. Then you get a bread knife, a sandwich spreader, a slicing knife, a paring knife, and then a Sentuku knife. So these are great for the holidays. Um, a blade cover. All of them come with one. And I definitely need that with little messy hands. Busybody hands. They are dishwasher safe. So yeah, that's what I picked up. $12.99. Great price. I picked up this nickel, satin nickel bathroom shelf. I didn't know to get the oil rubbed finish or this one. And it's going to be only temporary because I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. So I am going to hold on to my receipt because I kind of want something like wood or something like that. But you can't beat $12.99. It's easy to assemble and I really wanted it for this. But even if I hang it up above the toilet, like just I won't be able to reach it. So I'm just going to have to figure out what I'm going to do exactly with this in the half bathroom downstairs. I just realized y'all that I still got some more stuff in another bag right below me. So I did pick up these utensils. It's time for me to toss out um, some old ones that I had for a while. I thought they were like a chrome finish, but this is pretty. The nickel finish. And I may get one more if they still have. They had a ton of them. They were $3.99 and they had other, other styles too. So really, really nice. Okay, I forgot this was in a bag. I decided to pick this up because they marked this down on clearance and then I was looking at the contents inside. So this is an enamel cast iron care kit. And I was like, I thought the cleaner, it would have been awesome if the cleaner was already with it, but I guess you have to probably purchase it from Walmart or Target or somewhere. But this is the container that holds the um, enamel cast iron cleaner. And I will link that video above if I haven't already in this video um, where I purchased a lot of the braid the the cast iron stuff last year from Aldi and you guys really love that haul and so um, these are some pot protectors so they're like little let's see if it shows it on this side they're like little pieces of plastic and when you store it it's to keep it so it won't rust and I have made sure I dry it really really well and sometimes I guess it's still it's poor I don't know if it's porous but it's still moisture in it somehow and it will like rust a little bit around the rims so I mainly wanted it for these little pot protectors then it has a pan scraper in here and then the scrub brush and I have a Mrs. Myers or Grove Collaborative one, and I love it. So um, I just wanted to get this. And this is just a bottle to put the cleaner in. And it was marked down for like $2.99 on clearance. So that's why I grabbed that. Hey, JJ. And then these kind of got smashed in the bag, look like. But you don't get a whole lot anyway. But this is the Cookie Thins 
um, chocolate chip and I was following I follow quite many Weight Watcher people on Instagram and I forgot how many points she said this was for this I was scanning and captioning it but um yeah they're probably I don't know if they're good or not I don't know and then they have like some coconut thin ones too but so then I also got some grapes so that was in the bag too down below me and I forgot and some toilet paper okay so then lastly I did get this um those people were in there those people are not playing when it's something they want on Wednesday they are there when all the opens at nine so this was one of the things I was on they do have a darker gray one which you guys will see in the vlog but um I got this I hope just I just don't just I wanted to put some blankets in it pillows in it, and stuff like that and put it under my sofa table I did want two of them but I just got one and then the, I was busy looking at other stuff and vlogging that the lady grabbed the other light gray one and I was hoping she left this one for me. This was only $7.99. Um, so let me show you guys what is coming up next week. There was also some other things this week like some pet items too that I did not vlog in the store. And I didn't realize I didn't even walk down there. Oh man I didn't walk down there because I wanted to look at these little booties and i didn't go on that side either when i was going in it was a lady she had the not the snake plant but the fiddle leaf fig and it looked so pretty and i just got sidetracked and i did not even go over there on that section i don't know what happened and then i think they have some or is that next week that's next week with the car stuff but anyway um this is what they're having next week so if you are a sewer or someone that crafts this will be great for Christmas. The sewing machine. They also have like this little mini sewing machine. The roller cart. I like that this one has really deep drawers. They're starting to roll out their Thanksgiving stuff. And I'll also link below guys a PDF where you can. I put together last year where all the staples that you would need for the holidays or for the for Thanksgiving and some of my favorite recipes and all of that stuff and fall fun i'll make sure i link that down below so you can download that but anyway they're going to have a crock pot next week and some of these crofted bowl and mug travel set thermos um, a vacuum sealer and then they're also going to have this two pack dinner plates in sandwich duo i think that is super cute um, especially this one and an anti-splash lid but this one is what I want right here y'all so I've been eyeing the ones at Food Line I go in Food Line for Instacart if I need something Food Line is the closest grocery store to us but I don't really go in Food Line because you can spend a lot of money in Food Line unless it's, you, it's a coupon or it's a promo or something but $5.99 anyway Food Line has these little cute little collapsible boxes but I think they're like $10 in there or something. So I will be there to get two of these, maybe three of these, maybe four. Because I love, I got the most bags y'all from Aldi. And then they're also going to have these items. So I'm so happy that they're getting that. Because I wanted the ones that they had at Food Line. And they're getting all of these Thanksgiving items. So you also download their app too. I love these, so I probably will get there early to get these for Sasa. They did run a little bit big last year, but he's bigger now. And they kind of stretched out too, but he's still wearing it. This is super cute. That's a little high, but it's cute. It's probably because it's insulated. And then they're having these items too for your car. Is that a battery? What is that? jumper cables this is neat if you have like a new driver in the house or something great for Christmas presents and especially like these little booties I think it was like some booties and some men's house shoes this week in a robe I don't see it on this page but it is some house shoes this week yeah it ain't it's not a picture but it's there right there that's a good price for men. And these pajamas. But that's it, y'all. I took up enough of y'all time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And share this video with somebody else. Turn them on to Aldi.
or if you just love my channel <laughs> i appreciate you guys thanks so much for watching bye bye